What's up everybody, it's boy Z-Man here to bring you my next LP, and for this LP we are going to be doing a loading screen. No, we're actually going to be doing The Walking Dead, a telltale game, and a game that quite frankly has had a pretty solid impact on uh, on me at least. Um, it is of course a game made by Telltale, telltale Games, which is known for its episodic content if you uh if you've ever played the back to the future game that was episodic if you played sam and max that was an episodic game uh they're actually coming out with another one called the wolf among us which is i believe a fables i've never read the comic i'm sorry i don't know but it's it's some sort of another comic book that they're turning into a game and it looks exactly like The Walking Dead, except for different characters and all that stuff. But of course, this is based off of the cult hit phenomenon media thing from this game called The Walking Dead. From this game, from this universe called The Walking Dead. It's a TV show, it's a comic book, it's several different games. Don't ever get this game mixed up with Walking Dead Survival Instinct. That is a terrible, terrible game. This one is not not terrible. In fact, I say it's one of my, it's definitely my favorite story ever told in a video game, and you'll see why as we go through this. I do want to make note that this is the retail release for the PS3, which is what I'm going to be playing, so um, keep that in mind. And also, there was one other thing I wanted to talk about. I'm not even sure what it was, but let's go ahead and start up this game hold up i want to really quickly go into the options here and settings i want to make sure the subtitles are on maybe subtitles are automatically on because i can't see oh wait no it'd be in gameplay give me two seconds i'm getting there i'm getting there now i have played this game this is this will be actually my third right third or third or fourth playthrough of the game. I played it at least once on my PC uh, as it was coming out. I'm not playing it on PC now because recording it would slow down the game even worse than it actually does play regularly on my PC. My PC is not good. Um, yeah, I've, def I've, I've, beaten, I've beaten the game through 400 days. This is like a practice file. Let's start up a new game. This will be my third or fourth time running through this game. I want my standard UI hints. Now this is a game that some say it's either the worst game they've ever played or one of the best games ever made. And I can see it both ways kind of. I definitely lean way more towards one of the best games ever made. I don't think it's the best game ever made, not even by a long stretch. There are lots of problems with this game and we will we will see those as we go through the game. Let's start up episode one, A New Day. Now, keep in mind, I have kind of a little rule for Let's Plays. If the game, if the game says it in-game, I can say it in my commentary. And the game does say fuck, it says shit. I'm going to be, I'm going to be using those words. I always try to keep myself from saying that stuff, as you may well know. The Walking Dead. This game just awesome. I've never I've never watched the TV show, so don't get mad at me if I don't recognize characters. I've only read some of the comic, not very much of it, so keep that in mind. We're going to start off here in a cop car because you know. That's what that's that's where you always start off your game as your main protagonist. This is Lee Everett. Uh voice actors in this game do a great job, by the way. What's up, cop? Don't you be looking at me. I know you're scared. You gonna say something? Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. So this game allows you to make choices. As you can see on the bottom, there's like a little timer that allows you to make the choice. You can say nothing by choosing the ellipses or waiting for the timer to run out. Let's say triangle. You know what they say about reckoning. I don't. But I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord You're also able to look around as he's talking here. Now I get Check the, out the I houses. Pretty scenery. What do you say? And what do you say? 
I say, yep, I know you didn't. So you can obviously look around, you can choose items that are uh, choosable by pressing the triangle button or several different buttons. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Whoa. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. So the good thing is we've learned a few things about Lee Everett already, and uh, obviously there's some problems going on out there in Atlanta, so... I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Yeah, let's, let's not talk about that. You wanna know how I see it? No, I... SWAT. No, I don't. Not really. Too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it Shut don't mean up, I got to be. Urf. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Stay quiet, asshole. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Oh, fuck you, asshole. No, say it, Lee. God <sighs> damn it, Lee. I hate that he never says that. The second time that station wagon's gone by. Whoa! Helicopter and okay, something's not going well here. Just FYI. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Any future cops out there, that's exactly what you need to worry he, about. He was the worst one. <laughs> he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Dude, you probably should listen to that. Then before long, just he saying. starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I'm telling him he's got to stop. But that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious. Dude, 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 so. dude, 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 get the fuck. Ah, oh, great. Well, the good news is we probably died, and that's the end of the game. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, if you probably picked up on a few things there. You heard, you learned quite a bit about Lee Everett, which is what I really like about the beginning of the game. That does not sound good out there, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, this game takes place in Georgia, uh, which is base also the same place where the comic and the other thing, the TV show, the one, the one that everybody loves to watch. The comic and the TV show also take place in and around, I think it's all in Georgia. I've never seen either of them, so I don't know. And we're still handcuffed during a freaking zombie apocalypse. This is fucking great. And my leg's fucked up. This is all, this is all just going swell and splendid. I love it. Dude. You don't look so good. Hey officer, are you alright? I still cut back here. Lee, just for the record, I don't think he's all right based on the uh, blood spatter. How the hell did he have his gun out? Oh, he had a shotgun out too. That's good. All right, now we can look around using the right stick. Of course, we can try to find a way out of this car. Naturally, we're going to 
know, kick out the window. That's usually the best way to solve our situation. Let's get out of the car like so. And I need to drag myself out that window. Sounds like you're about to die, Lee. All right. You can also move around with the left stick, and it's a point-and-click game. You guys have all played point-and-click games before, probably. I guess they're not very prevalent anymore, mostly because they kind of lack in the gameplay department, uh, the action gameplay department. It's more of a puzzle-based system that you, you use. Most of your games that are point-and-click are going to be puzzle-based. Um, not very many action games. This one is definitely a puzzle-based gameplay system. Come on, Lee, get your ass moving. We got a cop to uh, go check up on. Get that isn't there? I thought. Can't you look at like the blood splatter? I don't know. Officer, god damn. Yeah, this looks this looks just great. All right, let's head on up to the officer. And you know the keys might be good. I do not like the way that right arm is looking. He might have might have broken something there. You can see why this game's rated M. You can also see it's very stylized type game. Yes. Drop your keys right next to the mouth of a dead guy during a zombie apocalypse. Makes sense why he'd think to go fast there. Even though he doesn't really know that we're in a zombie apocalypse, so I don't know why he like Sprinted to put his hand down there and steal the keys back. Maybe he thought the cop would wake up. I don't know. Officer. <laughs> Jump scare. That actually got me the first time I saw it. Dude, stay, stay the fuck away from me. All right, so we got a shotgun, a shotgun shell, and a uh, zombie police officer after us. I have a feeling I know what's going to happen here. Let's quickly go ahead and put the shot. Oh, fuck me. God damn it, shotgun. Sh get in your home. You too good for your home? All right, shotgun shell in. And you're dead. Yay, we killed our first zombie. Aren't you guys so proud? It's all, all so good. All right, so... Being our main protagonist, we're always scared. Little girl! Little girl, help my ass. Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Go get someone! Don't go hide in your treehouse or something like that. Just saying. Whoa. Um. Yeah, this looks like a great situation to be in. Especially on a bad light. Come on, dude. Why is everyone in this freaking universe so clumsy? Oh, I gotta trip over a dead body. Oh, I gotta slip in some blood. Oh, I gotta trip over this twig in the middle of the fucking road. Come on, people. Stand up. I know it's... Okay, seriously, dude. You fell again. There wasn't even anything for you to trip on that time. That was just... Again. Try to get yourself up. This one might be understandable, considering his legs all fucked up like that. I don't know. Car crash might screw you up. Get over that fence. And I think we're safe. Probably not. In a real universe, obviously, these zombies are gonna do exactly what they're about to do and knock down this fence. Until... Until... There he is. Some other dumbass starts shooting a gun. For the record, never shoot a gun. If you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. This is, this is, I'm going to give you Z-Man's, Z-Man's way to survive a zombie apocalypse. Never shoot a gun. Unless it's like silenced or something. Use a baseball bat. Hello? Or a, Anybody? if you can find like a sword, that, that would also work very well. I, pr I prefer the, uh, sledgehammer is probably too slow, but baseball bat is always a good one. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the part off right here in the backyard of this pretty little house with, you know, a nice little treehouse light right there. Um, thank you all very much for watching. Be sure to like and favorite this part because every like and favorite helps support the series, especially a new series like this one. Uh, be sure to subscribe for more awesome The Walking Dead content and... Uh, just keep yelling for help.
I'll, if you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, always yell for help because zombies totally don't react to sound, Lee, dumbass. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. Yeah, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see all of you guys next time.